Cultivating the land for agriculture and overgrazing of livestock can lead to land degradation. As soils become less fertile, biodiversity decreases and agricultural yields fall, damaging ecosystems and the livelihoods of farming communities. The Redeal project hopes to address this problem in Kenya. An international team of researchers, led by Professor Mariana Rufino, an agricultural scientist at Lancaster University in the UK, and including Dr. Joseph Hitamana, an agricultural and forestry scientist at the University of Kabianga in Kenya, is working with farmers to find methods for land restoration. By interviewing farmers, the team discovered that farmers and scientists have different definitions of land degradation. As farmers have different priorities for the land, scientists measure land degradation in terms of physical properties of the soil, but this does not consider the social and economic pressures faced by farmers when making decisions about their land. Success of the project depends upon the researchers having the same objectives as the farmers they aim to support. In Kenya, farmers rely on grasslands to feed their livestock, which in turn feeds their families and provides a source of income. Farmers therefore have a vested interest in avoiding land degradation. However, limited income often means farmers must prioritise the short-term picture, ensuring they have enough food and income for the current year, rather than considering the long-term picture of whether their land is degrading. This means farmers may overlook early signs of land degradation if they're not currently impacting their production goals. The Redeal team are working with farmers to find solutions to grassland degradation. The most important feature of any land restoration scheme is that it must be desirable for local farmers, so farmers' input is crucial. If it's expensive or time-consuming, then farmers will have no incentive to participate. Farmers are sharing their knowledge of local plant species as increasing plant diversity can enhance the soil. Researchers are growing these plants in experimental plots to determine which species combinations grow best in different environmental conditions. They are also assessing how plants respond to different land management practices and how different methods of livestock management contribute to land degradation. The ultimate aim of Redeal is for the land restoration methods developed during the project to be carried forward by local farmers. The team is hosting workshops to discuss and learn together with farmers, agricultural students and land management agencies throughout Kenya how to implement these land management solutions. If grasslands are to be protected for the future, farmers must have the power to design the solutions to the challenges they encounter on their land. What could you achieve as an agricultural scientist?